Welcome to day 247. Now it's uh, 7.45 a.m. in the morning. Um, not usually up at this time, not during the week anyway. I usually get up around 8, 8.15, 8.30. But I'm up early today because I'm heading to self-publishing conference in London, Waterloo. Um, I'm, uh, it's very, it should be a pretty interesting day. They've got a ton of speakers, a load of people who... I want to be in the position they're in, so I'm hoping I can learn quite a bit of information from them. I'm also meeting my friend uh, Thibaut, Thibaut Maurice, he's also an author, self-published author. Um, been doing it for a few years with a lot of success with his books, so it'll be good to catch up with him. So that's where it's taking place, Royal Festival Hall, just a few uh, minute away or so. I actually used to run my success club there, the Royal Festival Hall, so have fond memories of the place. Um, sales totals for the last 13 days have been 33 sales uh, over the 13 days, which sounds okay, but it's not actually great because that's two Mondays worth of sales. And um, my sales on Amazon are actually slowing down. Gone are the days where I could just roll out of bed and see 30 plus sales every week. So I'm gonna have to re-strategize a bit and figure out what's going on, come up with a new plan. But that's uh, the sales for the last 13 days, bringing it to a total of 1,932. Well, turns out I got it wrong, actually. It's not, uh, South, it's not the Royal Festival, it's Queen Elizabeth building. So I'm just walking around the corner to get there. Oh, there it is. South back centre, straight ahead. River Thames there on my left. And that is where the event is taking place. And it was literally that you, you got the idea as you were on the train and you looked over to Linda's and you saw the island and yeah. yes. It is a really, really cheesy story, but I swear it's true. Um, we were on the train between Newcastle and Edinburgh and for anyone who's done that stretch, it's a really, really beautiful stretch of, of rail. And you look out across and um, the island of Lindisfarne was, it was, I would say, like a classic Northumbrian day, by which I mean it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Um, but it looked very atmospheric for a, a crime writer or would be crime writer. So. Okay, so you probably just saw a little clip from inside the conference. That was an author called LJ Ross. Her story is pretty incredible. She kind of lived the dream that I wish I'd lived way back when I first published my book in 2012. She simply just uploaded a book onto Kindle and found that it took off without any kind of advertising, uh, very little marketing, just all through word of mouth. Okay, she's a fiction writer and she writes in the, um, I think it's crime slash uh, romance genres, so very popular genres and niches. So then maybe that's a part of her uh, immediate success. But that blew my mind actually to hear that. I thought people, I thought that wasn't possible anymore. That you couldn't just upload your book on Kindle and magically it would take off. She's now sold four and a half million copies, which is incredible, which again makes me realize that my dream of trying to sell one million copies in pretty much three years from now is actually achievable. Sometimes I think it's a crazy dream, but when I hear stories like that, I realize that it's not. Okay, so I'm back. We've just finished at the conference. I was there with Thibaut today. Um, some of you who watch my other channel, Screw the System, may remember I did an interview with him back in 2018. I think, Thibaut, back then you said you'd sold about 18,000? No, 18? I think it was about 25,000. Oh, right. I, don't, I think at the time, I guess. So where are you at now? No, I'm close to 100,000. Wow. Yeah. That is a big, pretty, uh, pretty good. a big total. I always think of it in terms of 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 yeah. like brackets. Mm. So as you guys can tell with my sales, he's light years ahead. Um, but look, he's got, I've got two of his books here. Yep. So, Master uh, Your Master Destiny, Focus. Master Your Focus. Yep. How many books have you got out now? I think I have 15 or 16 out. Yeah, and how yeah. many did you write last year? Did I uh, write? Yeah. In total or last? Just last year, how many uh, did you write? I think last year I did five or six. Five or six, yeah, that's six. the key. And this year I'm trying to do six. Yeah. I might fall short, maybe five. I'm trying to do five or six books. Yeah. I think it's a good, pretty fast, but it's a good. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, pace. That's the key, guys. Lots of books. Yeah. And then, you get, and then you get the sales. <laughs> Consistency, yeah. Okay, so the day isn't over after the conference. There was a riverboat cruise, and you guys can see in the distance the uh, Tower Bridge and then the Shard there. Okay, 
Okay, I'm back home now. The talk is over as well as the cruise up the River Thames. It was a good day, enjoyable day. Good to get out, do something different. I think the main two take home messages I got from the conference was number one, Amazon ads are a must. Everybody's doing them and it's proved by my spike in sales since I started doing them in August of next year. You can track, you can see by watching back on these videos how much my sales took off back then and I really am nowhere near mas mastering Amazon marketing. So I think there is a lot more potential uh, once I've learned how to use it um, as effectively as possible. Number two was emailing list. Everybody kept talking about this, the importance of building an email list and uh, emailing them and picking up sales through that. So great conference. Brings day 247 to an end. I'll be back with you, I think, next week with a video on my birthday. I'll see you then.